Kubir glanced at the impassive Ravan who sat to his right. Even sitting, Ravan's great height and ripping musculature was intimidating. His battle-worn, swarthy skin was pockmarked, probably by a childhood disease. A thick beard valiantly attempted to cover his ugly marks, while a handlebar moustache set off his menacing features. His attire was unremarkable though, consisting of a white dhoti and a cream angavastram. His headgear was singular with two threatening six-inch long horns reaching out from the top on either side. As Ravan's fist unclenched, Dasarath was horrified by what he saw. The pendant which Ravan had clenched was actually the bones of two human fingers the phalanges of which were carefully fastened with gold links. Clenching this again, Ravan appeared to derive enormous power from it. This is how Amis described Ravan, the enemy of Aryavar. Ravan, a name which means the roar of Lord Rudra. So, by the use of the double A, I do not mean to clarify or justify myself being good at spelling but want to give out that I hold a respect for what he was and what he is. Ravan, the unwanted son of the great sage Vishrava, who was the grandson of Brahma and Kaikesi, a Rakshasa princess. Ravan, the stepbrother of Kubera, the wealthiest man in Bhulok. Ravan, the Lanka Dipati, one who owned Lanka, the greatest devotee of Lord Rudra, the one and only able player of Rudravina, the Vina made by Shiva, was and has been always a source of attraction for me. Now, for your clarification, it's not only the kind of attraction the audience felt for Joker. Yes, I liked the badass aspects of Ravan, but my attraction towards Ravan was more towards the man himself rather than the deeds he performed. Ravan created the Shiva Tandav Stotra. Yes, the music you are hearing now, its lyricist was Ravan himself. He sang it first in praise of Lord Shiva. He was the inventor of Ravan Hatha, the ancestor of violin. He could play Rudravina while a handful could even lift the instrument of Shiva, leave alone playing it. So, a man capable of such deeds, it's just unjust to judge him by a prestigious kidnapping he performed. I truly wanted to read a book on Ravan that could justify my high feelings about him. So, when I took Ravan, enemy of Aryavarta, in hand, I wasn't sure whether I would like it as my hopes were too high. Amis usually deals with protagonistic stories, but the book was like Brahmastra. It just busted and opened all the aspects I were missing about Ravan. I feel him so human now, so real, so me. Amis didn't justify the deeds of Ravan by portraying him as a result of circumstances. Rather, in the book, Ravan chose to become what he became planning out each deeds he did, except that of Vedvati. Ravan, the unwanted child to everyone, finds love and shelter in a girl. He saw only once. Vedvati from then stayed in his eyes. It was the only string that on plucking brought tears to history's greatest villain. Having seen her only once, he drew her every year depicting her growth, even going to the extent of hiding cowardly just to get a glance of Vedvati. The story moves forward and Ravan, 
gets a chance to meet her again after 20 long years as fate would had she was happily married and pregnant ravan saw her husband was more good than he had been in his entire life so he the great ravan decides to leave his love and turn out as as a good man but vedbati gets killed with her family the good image ravan tired to imagine himself into for vedvati comes crushing and so he becomes the ravan we knew now the thing with this is even in valmiki ramayan ravan loved vedvati and sita was actually vedvati reborn in treta yuga hence the events so what's in the book the book is in a praise to the dasanan we do not know it actually describes us the 10 heads ravan is believed to have are actually his multidimensional and variable personality the scholar musician devotee fighter king trader and all other gunas he had the fact that without ravan ram would had been only a good and just king will be clear to you by the time you finish the book it will help you understand that people are judged only by their deeds not by who they really are inside and for anyone who had been a true one-sided lover this book will be a life changing to you it will destroy the rakshas and unhuman image you had of ravan and mold ravan as the greatest talent and human life this earth has ever produced now if ravan was so great a warrior why did he lose to ram and mostly why did he kidnap sita so why did he lose to ram ravan defeated dasarath on the day ram was born so you can see he was more than twice as old as ram when the battle of lanka took place on his deathbed when lakshman was standing near him ravan asked i had twice more weapons you had i had thrice as more army you had i am the greatest fighter and scholar in the world i have shiva's hand on my head the battle took place in my homeland still why did i lose to you lakshman didn't knew the answer he looked at ravan ravan with a glimpse of smile said तुम चरित्रवान थे और मैं चरित्रहीन यू हैड अ गुड कैरेक्टर आई लॉस्ट माय कैरेक्टर द डे आई किडनैप्ड समवन्स एल्स वाइफ दिस वाज रावण्स मेन कॉज अलोंग विद द बिट्रेल्स ऑफ विभीषण एंड सुरपनखा हिज ओन सिब्लिंग्स रावण हैड लॉस्ट विद इन हिमसेल्फ टू क्वेंच हिज लव फॉर वेदपति ही सिंड हिज सोल्स इवेंट्स इन द बुक आर The book starts with Ravan being born a rakshas and being declined by his own father and society traveling across the country defeating Kuvair the great trader gaining wealth his love for Vedvati to becoming the king of Lanka it also describes the bonding of Ravan and Kumbhakarna the kidnapping of Sita the faults of Ravan to him becoming the enemy of Aryavarta In ancient India the respected ones were not called sir or madam they were called by saying o arya so neither india nor hindustan but aryavarta is the actual name in what we live the country we live in so amis named his book ravan enemy of aryavarta some quotes and lines of amis through the words of ravan i like in the book are blame an entire community for the faults of a few is to take a extremely myopic view of things people tell you what you want to hear in order to get what they want from you the ones who succeed are the ones who are honest to themselves if you find someone vulnerable help them and make them your slave for life desires and fondness are vices in a man they makes a man weak one sided love is worse but one sided love which 
is not even aware of being one-sided is worse. A possibility to turn negative to positive always exists but it requires a goddess to inspire the change. A person without karma may well be dead. Don't rely on someone while starting to do something great. People are dangerously unreliable. Only someone who has loved can know the immeasurable agony of losing the object of one's passion. You know, from mother's nature's perspective, the opposite of right is not wrong, it's left. I mean that there is no one right way, no ideal solution. The truly wise, however, realize that you can only look for an optimal solution, not an ideal solution. If we boil an egg, it becomes harder inside and if we boil a potato, it becomes softer outside. People respond to stress in much the same way. Those who are soft on the inside becomes harder with the right amount of stress and those who are hard on the inside become softer. If you think about it this way, then the right amount of stress becomes necessary to balance your character. Too much stress is not good. It may break you, but no stress is not good either. You need the right amount of stress to balance your character and make you grow. The tale of Ravan doesn't end here. We all are Ravan. Ram, after killing Ravan, went for exilation. On asking why, he said, Ravan was in every way and in every field greater than me. I do not regret cutting the head with jealousy, but the other nine heads of scholar, fighter and other good qualities that Ravan had. Such was Ravan. So don't waste money and burn the idol of a great scholar and fighter. Rather, burn out the head of jealousy inside you. So this Diwali, let's celebrate Ravan. Om Ravanyaya Namah. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Thank you.